today we're about to put together a Cutler Hammer Eaton breaker and I want to share how to put one of these together this is my second video on it uh, people were, have been requesting it so I just wanted to show a demonstration of one uh, this is a 150 amp breaker but it's the same as the ones as a 400 amp breaker only the 400 amp breaker has double bars this one because it's only it's under 200 amps it has only one one bus and okay so that's the key so the key and also they go this way the right side gets it the cuts are in so the right sides to the right and then the left side is is uh inside so here we go it's, there goes the breaker the big one that's the 400 amp so they go like this and i'm going to assemble this together so you see how it's done so basically there, you need a foot screw pattern and this plate comes with it and then it's got this isolating isolated pad so what I always do is I build this part first so and I leave it loose I screw it in I already got the screws in there but I leave them loose so I can I can manipulate it any way I want up and down side to side and it goes like this the, the, the part that's indented goes inside toward the panel so then I got my my bus and these get screwed on to the bus so this is gonna be like this upside this uh it's the bottom thread breaking so the, the, my wires, my brown and yellow, are going to come up from the bottom and feed this breaker. So that's important to know. And so I lay this here, and then you got to, And then the, the other thing to know is that these, you got two little screws. These two little screws is one here, one here, and it gets screwed onto the panel. And then you got these three screws right here, and you have these screws. These screws go here, and then these screws, screw this, screw here. So you stick this on here like so. This goes behind there. Come closer right here. When you come a little closer, you'll see. So this goes behind there like so, inside of here. And then this gets screwed on. So the way we discover it is we put it like this, and then we put this in there like that. And that's the easiest way to do it. And then you come in with your Phillips and then you screw it in like that. You see that? And then you just twist it. And you twist it on like that and then and that. And then once you do that, you take this, you get two screws here. I do it with a nut driver, but you take the Phillips and then you screw these two to those two right there. See those two holes right there? One up, one down. One up, one down. One up, one down. So this gets bolted down like that on this panel. So. And I'll give you an example that once we get it going. These are three phase. And it also has simple instructions as well in the, in the box. And it should how to do it. I'll give you a little quick example. There it goes. And then this is what I basically did right here. You put these two through there, through the paper, the isolated bushes through this, which this is that right there, this part right there. Okay, and then we're gonna take the three plates, which are these three right here, and they come down like that, this this part. And they get screwed to this each one of these busts, and it's like so. so. I'm gonna turn off that panel, and when I do that, I'll know where my center of all is. Like so. Something like that. And I know how it goes. So you can bolt it onto that panel and then my wire goes in to the bottom, which is two off. And that's how you put together a 150 amp Eaton color hammer breaker or 200 amp or 250 and 200 ampers and 150 amps and 75 amps. Well, those are 75. This is uh, to about one, 150 and up. They're about like this, they're in this is a line, this is a line breaker. Thank you very much.